Aloha everyone and good morning. Welcome to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and everything ocean related. Oh my goodness, is it early? You guys can see probably my eyes are barely open. I'm really struggling to stay awake. It is 4.45 in the morning. We're gonna be going on a boat dive today and a side effect of all the amazing diving that we do is that we have to wake up early for it. Uh, so we're gonna be going out with Maui Dreams on their boat Maui Diamond. And today we're going to Lanai over on on the uh, west side, past the west side of Maui Nui. So it's in Maui County. You can still boat to it. It's a longer drive, um, but we're gonna be hopping over to another island to do some diving today. Lanai is known for some really, really incredible structures. Their reefs are, uh, I mean, it's just a totally different thing. I don't want to give too much away, um, but little hints is that there's a lot more lava formations over there uh, in their structure of the reef as opposed to over here. So I'm really, really excited. I also just found out this morning that we're going to be diving with one of my old colleagues, Dave. Um, Dave and I used to work together on a different dive boat before I got hired at the Maui Ocean Center. So it'll be really, really nice to have a buddy out there with us that we know that works the crew over at Maui Diamond. So... Um, I will see you guys there. I've got just a little bit left to pack up uh, into the car and then we're gonna head over to the dock. That way we can be there by six o'clock in the morning. See you guys there. Good to see you, hello. My name's Don, I'll be your captain today, the guy turned the big wheel up on top. With us right here, we have Laurel Carl Saver. We have Yo Yo yelling at right here. We have Dave the Magnificent. Uh, and then we have Brandon. Brandon. <laughs>
guys, welcome back to land. That was an absolutely fantastic trip. If anyone is ever planning on coming out to Maui to dive and wants to explore Lanai, highly, highly recommend Maui Dreams and their Maui Diamond crew, especially if you have a good sense of humor. They are such a riot to go out on trips with. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, do an outro right at the very end of the dive. We had to go home very quickly and rescue our puppy uh, who was locked in his crate for so long. That being said, it gave me time to shower and come back out and do my outro with you guys because I could couldn't not talk about all the amazing things that we saw when we were over on the Lanai trip. Uh, there's so many amazing things that Lanai dives can offer that unfortunately Maui proper just can't offer. There's everything from reef structure all the way to its animals. The structure of both of our dives today were so cool. You just can't see that kind of thing here on Maui and most of our shore dives. Um, they have incredible lava structures. The first dive we did was cathedrals, which is a famous dive over on the south side of Lanai. You go through a swim through and there's this big cavern which was formed from lava um, while it was cooling. So the lava that came from land will spill from land down into the sea and then as it cools, it cools quicker on the outside creating this tunnel and then that lava will flow all the way through it leaving a hollow uh, inside afterwards. So we did our first dive was cathedrals. There's this swim through inside of the cathedrals. There's this big room or cavern and there's a rock that has fallen from the ceiling all the way down to the floor so it looks like an altar, therefore the name cathedrals. And the uh, piece de resistance of cathedrals is on the far wall, which is an east facing wall. So in the sunlight, especially sunrise, you get this light that streams in from above and it comes down and just makes the entire room glitter. It looks like stained glass windows. Such, such a beautiful dive. Second dive site also had a swim through. It was a much longer, more narrow swim through, but we saw all kinds of things like slipper lobsters. I unfortunately didn't bring my dive torch today so I didn't have a flashlight to show you guys some of the smaller things inside of those tunnels you're just gonna have to take my word for it um, but there were so many incredible uh, animals that were in and around all of those arches as well Lanai is home to a lot of rare and endemic species of sea life something that you won't normally get a chance to see here on Maui uh, even from a boat actually unless you're going deeper than a hundred feet off like Molokini for example um, but over in Lanai they occur in waters as shallow as 20 to 30 feet scientists don't really know why why that is because uh, usually depth is very specific for animals uh, but we're very very lucky to be able to experience them over in Lanai. We got a chance to see quite a few animals today um, including one of my favorites is the black faced variation of the long nose butterfly fish. Usually a long nose butterfly fish will be black on the top and then have a white bottom or a white chin but there are some species um, that have a variation including this one that it is all black all the way from like midway to the face forward instead of having that white chin so that was really cool also got to see quite a few angel fish including the potters and the flame angel angel fish are usually so small out here in Hawaii that most people mistake them for damsel fish but they are an angel fish species we don't have many most of them are very tiny um, they tend to be very shy they hide and they dart in and out of the reef very quickly but there were quite a few of them over there I was very surprised there was also a lot of fragments in the sand of, of shells and crustaceans and echinoderms which makes me think that that would be an absolute absolutely amazing spot to do a night dive. Uh, if anybody is keen on watching a night dive over there, maybe one day me and Brian will get over there to Lanai for an overnight uh, and do a night dive in that area because I feel like it would be absolutely incredible because there's remnants of all of these invertebrates all over the reef, but they don't show themselves in the daylight. So it'd be really cool to go back and see at night. We also got a chance to see some soft corals while we were over there, which is really exciting for me. I'm a bit of a coral nerd. There are only a few species of soft corals in the entire Hawaiian Islands. So the fact that there were large patches of soft corals at our second dive site, so, so cool to see. They're called leather coral in a lot of places out here because when the polyps retract, um, it looks like literal leather. And if they're soft corals, which means they don't have that stony hard structure that most of our corals have. So when you give it a waft with your hand, not touching, just wafting, um, you can see they wiggle around a little bit so they don't have that hard structure. So that was really cool. Me and Brian both actually got really excited about that one. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did while I was making it, and a hooey ho.